Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, I am Chani and today we're watching This Black Hole Could Be Bigger Than the Universe by the one and only Kyrgyzak in a nutshell. Let's go. We proudly present to you the Kurtzkazak Guide to Curiosity. <gasps> Wait! Join us on an interactive adventure across 160 Wait, thrilling pages that will change your perspective on the world forever. Available now on the Kurtzkazak shop. Wait, Chop. hold on. So... Is it like small tasks that you gotta do outside in nature kind of journal or like what really i'm intrigued i i'm like a sucker for like cute notebooks and stationary things and i already do enjoy a lot of like kyrgyz acts content anyway so hold on. on the world forever available now on the if zone. this can be done without me having to touch grass i might put it in my cart hold on now you're you sold me hold on you might they be got me. inside a black hole that's inside a black hole that's inside oh. a black hole. Oh. Everything in existence could be black holes all We're the way all down. in holes? It turns out black Pause, holes what? are much weirder than you think, and they break the universe much more than is usually explained, destroying time and space. And they may actually create infinite universes in the process. But before we can get to that, let's first build a black hole out of air. Okay. Everything can become a black hole if you <laughs> not these to toys. A limit. Hey, at least it's not a labubu. I'll take it. You'd need to squeeze Earth down to the size of a coin for it to turn into a black hole. The sun needs to be squeezed down to the size of a small city to become a black hole. Mm -hmm. And if a lot of mass is concentrated in a really tiny space, you get something super dense. This is usually how black holes are explained. Stuff mm. becomes super dense and collapses into a black hole. But actually, you don't need any ultra dense stuff to make them. We're ignoring some maths here, but all you really need to know okay. is one thing. The larger black holes get, the less dense they are. So, really large black holes are kind of thin. A sun mass black hole is only about six kilometers wide and has a density of about one Himalayan range per cubic meter. The what? supermassive black hole. Wait, what does what does that mean? One Himalayan range. So one one size what? The of about one Himalayan range per cubic meter. The supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way has a mass of four million suns, a diameter of twenty four million kilometers, and a density of six blue whales per cubic meter. Okay, that's a lot of numbers. Um, I, I can't process this. Wait, I can't process any of this. Um, okay, 4 million suns. No, 4 million meter suns. The massive black hole at the center of the Milky Way has a mass of 4 million suns, a diameter of 24 million kilometers, and a density of 6 blue whales per cubic meter. The ultra-massive black hole Iris 2100-4156 has a mass of 3.8 billion suns and is Whoa. as wide as the solar system. But because it's so large, it is only as dense as air. This means, mm. at least in theory, that if you take a gigantic balloon and fill it with undecillions of tons of air, the How moment much? it gets to the size of a solar system, an event horizon suddenly forms and it turns into a supermassive black hole without violence okay. or squeezing. So now, let's think big. What do we need to make a black hole the size of the universe? A universe-sized black hole. The chunk of the universe that we can see from Earth is a sphere with a radius of 45 billion light years, filled with hundreds of billions of galaxies, lots of gas, and a bunch of other things. If you add them up, it has the mass of about a million billion billion suns. A million Which billion billion a suns. Lot, but on Whoa. average, the universe is not very dense. If we break up all the galaxies, stars, gas, and energy, and spread them equally inside the volume of the universe, we get an average density of about five hydrogen atoms per cubic meter. You can imagine this as the sort of ultra-thin cosmic air that makes up the universe. Mm -hmm. What would happen if we take a balloon as big as the observable universe and fill it with cosmic air? Well, it turns out that all the mass in the observable universe is more than enough to create a black hole. Actually, it's enough to make a black hole ten times larger than the observable universe. But that can only mean one thing. We should be living deep inside a truly gargantuan, cosmic-sized black hole. 
Mm -hmm. There's one catch, though. We know that our universe is expanding, and an expanding universe is not what you'd expect to see if you were inside a black hole. Mm -hmm. So our universe sense. can't be a black hole, at least not in the naive way we've just described. Except there's a wild and mind-bending trick the universe could play on us. Put us in a black hole? How, let's Three jump months? into a black hole and die. No. Whoa. A whole <laughs> universe born okay. inside a black hole. We usually imagine black holes as spheres with a singularity at their center, a point mm -hmm. where all their mass is concentrated so much that our maths breaks down. But this is a lie. They are so much weirder. From the outside, a black hole looks like a normal black sphere. But the inside is where things stop making sense. Black holes warp the universe so much that at the event horizon, space and time switch their roles. Inside a normal sphere, space is finite, but time goes on forever. But inside a black hole, it's the other way around. Space goes on forever, but time is finite. So mm. once inside, you see an infinite universe with no center. The geometry is too complicated, so we're simplifying. This is so pretty. But basically, you could walk forever in one direction, right, it's or getting walk time. in another direction, and arrive at the same place again. But not only that, inside a black hole, time is finite, and it's now running out. So after a while, you start to notice that space itself is slowly changing. In one direction, space is being stretched, while in all other directions, space is shrinking. The whole universe is being squeezed, kind of turning into a collapsing spaghetti. Sooner or later, the whole black hole universe collapses into itself. All of space, every single part of it, is turning into a singularity. So the mm -hmm. singularity of a black hole is not at its center or in any direction at all. It's in the future of whatever falls inside. We made a whole video about this if you want to learn more. So the singularity is not a place where you can go, it's an event in time that happens. Once it happens, you and everything else that fell inside the black hole will be mercilessly crushed into an infinitely small region with infinite gravity and infinite energy. Time, mm. space, none of it matters anymore. Both kind of stop existing in ways that we would recognize. And then, is this the end? Well, maybe not. Maybe not. This collapse of the black hole universe into a singularity looks like one of the scenarios for the end of our universe, the Big Crunch, where long after the Big Bang, the whole universe collapses into a singularity again. Mm. But if there's a Big Crunch, there might be a big bounce, like a rubber ball that you've squeezed too much and that suddenly rebounds, space mm. might expand again. So a new universe could be born inside a black hole. The funny thing about this scenario is that nothing has changed in the slightest outside the black hole. Watching from the outside, it's still a black sphere of nothingness. And yet, on the inside, a new universe has been born. So maybe mm. our universe was born like this, and we are all actually inside a black hole. But if our universe can also create black holes, they might give birth to new universes. Is our black hole universe also just part of Eternal a universe black further holes. up? that's also a black hole inside another universe? Is there an end to it? Is there one original universe? Is the cosmos black holes inside black holes inside black holes? Infinite black hole universes. If the universe creates black holes that create universes, that then create new black holes that create new universes, this cosmic self-reproduction would be subject to natural selection. A Big Bang is a chaotic and messy event. So it's possible that the new daughter universes would not always be fully identical to their mums. Mm -hmm. Sometimes physics may be slightly different, with some oh fundamental God. values Earth higher or lower. And so some universes might be able to create loads of stars, planets, and black holes. Others might not, maybe creating a uniform cosmic soup where no stars, planets, and black holes form. But if all universes are born inside black holes, in the long run, all universe lines that don't create loads of black holes would die out. The universes with the conditions for loads of black holes would become the most common and spawn the most daughter universes. Survival of the fit. Okay, sorry, I'm I'm lost again. What? <laughs> what? Identical to their mums. Sometimes physics may be slightly different, with some fundamental values higher or lower. And so some universes might be able to create loads of stars, planets, and black holes. Others might not, maybe creating a uniform cosmic soup where no stars, planets, and black holes form. 
But if all universes are born inside black holes, in the long run, all universe lines that don't create loads of black holes would die out. The universes with the conditions for loads of black holes would become the most common and spawn the most daughter universes. Survival of the fittest, but with universes instead of organisms. Our mm -hmm. observable universe alone has created at least 10 to the power of 17 black holes so far. What? So maybe our universe has the physics and laws it has because it was born after a long process of cosmological selection that favored the production of tons of black holes. And that would have a lovely side effect. If universes are optimized to create as many new black hole universes as possible, they're optimized to create loads of galaxies and stars. Mm. And thereby also, by accident, the conditions for life to emerge. So Whoa. universes that are the best at creating new universes are also the best at creating life. If this scenario is true, who knows how many bazillions of black hole universes might be out there, all with stars and planets potentially home to others like us. So, is our universe like this? The truth is we don't know. While these ideas are based on real science and work on paper, they're speculative and not testable. Also, mm -hmm. cyclic universes don't actually explain why the universe exists in the first place or why it is the way it is. Instead of providing answers, these are really just new questions in disguise, so keep that in mind before getting too excited. But isn't it just wonderful and heartwarming that we're living in a universe where ideas as big as this one are even thinkable? Indeed. There might be so much life. And if new universes are created constantly, maybe... What is with this cinematic music? It's Kirkus. Of course they're gonna have cinematic music and thoughts that will give you an existential crisis. <laughs> life will go on forever. We've heard rumors of wow. a chosen one, a special oh. verb who has the power to illuminate the vast darkness of the universe, uncovering the great mysteries of the world. Mm -hmm. This special power is called curiosity, and the special verb could be you. Our guide it's me. to curiosity is now available on our shop. It's an adventure that will You're help you to us. think like a Kurzgesagt verb and unlock your curiosity potential. Join us across 160 thrilling, interactive pages designed to awaken your curiosity, changing your perspective on the world forever. But be prepared. We will send you on epic quests to uh, find incredible creatures, no, challenge you to I build unprecedented grass. structures, like, ask you to cook up something surprising, and solve riddles to unveil hidden truths about the world. But don't worry, the burbs will be with you every step of the way, and you can also bring a friend. The 18 Curiosity Quests were developed right here at the Curiosity, let's headquarters. Go. After hundreds and hundreds of hours of research and lots of trial and error, we created the ultimate Curiosity Adventure. It was the most fun we ever had making a product, and we're so excited to finally share this experience with you. So head over to the Kurzgesagt shop and find out if you are the chosen verb. Every Kurzgesagt product well, you buy directly too? funds another moment we get to spend working on our videos. And you get a special piece of Kurzgesagt in return. Thank you so much for being a part of our story and making this channel possible. Thank you for the knowledge. Yippee. Quack. All right. So that was this black hole could be bigger than the universe by Kirkusakt in a nutshell. That was a lot to process. Um, I don't know if you could see, but my there was steam coming out of my head at some point. There was a lot of numbers, a lot of theories thrown at my head at once. Hence why I didn't like talk much because I was actually trying to focus on what they were saying. But if I understood it correctly, the theory was that our current universe started or is in the black hole in itself and then now we have like a bajillion of other black holes in our galaxy right and then we can create in those black holes other universes could therefore be in it so it's like an infinite black hole universe multiplication situation does that make sense that's like the simplest way i could put the things i just comprehended from this but if i'm wrong do correct me down in the comments because like i said it was it was a lot to process <laughs> it was a lot for me to process but do correct me if i'm wrong or if i understood it wrong 
But yeah, that was a really interesting theory and I really did enjoy it. Very good. And as usual, amazing graphics and amazing cinematic music in the background. So I love that. Shout out Kurgisak, YouTube. If you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!